Yes. Okay. So, do you guys know why I'm here today? Yes. Yes. Yeah. What do you want to tell me about why I'm here today? Uh, we are here to learn about um, how to manage your money and savings. Right. How to manage your money. So, first of all, my name is Talal, as you know. I am from uh, Ali Amami University, and I'm with the Finance Club. So that's why we're going to talk about money, because I'm with the Finance Club. So we're going to talk about savings, and you guys are smart and apparently know what saving is. So does anyone want to explain to me what saving is? So we explain for you what saving yeah, do you know what saving is? Uh, yeah, can I start? Yeah, please. Uh, saving is like um, to keep uh, like a money, like to keep it with you. So mm -hmm. like maybe you keep it. So if you need it, like sometimes. Very good, yes. Yeah, we keep our money. So anytime we get any amount of money, we take some of it and keep it with us for later. So we can use it for what? So because, well, let's say that, I mean, we can say that money helps you in the future, but in which way? How does it help us? Like, why do we keep our money for the future? Why don't we use it? Well, one thing is um, there's so many things you can buy with your money, right? So many things. And we can say that money gives you something called financial stability. You guys know what financial stability is? No. Okay. Like, yes, I think Omar wanted to say something. Uh, having a good, like, um, having good control over your money and stuff and not like running out. Yes, it. very good. Yeah, so when you have financial stability that control of it control of it so no matter what happens in the future you will always be able to pay money for it. so we can say if there's an emergency that happens if there is something that came out that you want like a new phone or a new t-shirt or you need to repair something like your computer or phone you can just repair them because you're financially stable which means you have the money to solve any situation that happens in the future. So let's take an example. So money helps you in cases of emergency. So do you guys know what tag is? The game tag? Whenever do you guys know what that is? Yeah. No? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do? know. Do you want to explain it? Yeah. Yeah, please explain it. What tag is? Uh, so there's one, t uh, there's one dude and mm -hmm. if he touches anyone, they are out of the game. I mean, right. they become the, the tagger, and the tagger has to catch people. Yes, so you try to catch so your friend. They um become the tagger. Right, so you try to catch your friend, and when you touch them, they become the tagger, and then they have to chase someone else, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say someone, the tag is chasing you, and you're running away from him, like as fast as you can. Oh, you have your phone with you, and your phone drops. Oh, no, your phone dropped, and the, the screen breaks. What will you do? You have to fix it, because you need your phone. You need to talk to your friends. You need to uh, talk to your family. You need to watch videos. You can do so many things with your phone. You cannot live without it. You, you, uh, you need it. It's necessary. You might need to go to classes with it. So... If you don't save your money, you will not have money to to fix your phone. So you have to wait, borrow money from someone, uh, or just wait until the next time you get money. So we can say in this case, we don't have financial stability, right? So it's really important to save money. And also, it teaches you how valuable things is. So... We can, let's say that you have 20 t-shirts at your home and you go out to the mall and you see a new t-shirt that you want. But because you have 20 t-shirts, is it valuable? Do you, can, can you live without 
this new t-shirt? I mean, you yeah. can because, yeah, because you have so many t-shirts. The value of this new t-shirt goes down. But if you have only two pairs of shoes and you have, and you see a third one that's really good and you, you're interested in it, you want it, the value of that shoe goes up because you don't have uh, many pair of shoes. Did you guys get that? Yes. 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 So uh, something else we, we want to learn today are wants and needs. Do you guys know the difference between wants and needs? Yes. Yeah? Yes. What is it? Who wants to tell me what yes. needs are? Me. me. All right, go ahead, please. Uh, uh, I'm going to start with uh, wants. Uh, okay. Want, uh, something like... Uh, uh, you like want to buy it, and it's uh, like you can. You think that it's very fancy, and mm -hmm. uh, and um, you have like uh, it's what is uh, shoes. You have like uh, many shoes, uh, and uh, you don't need this new shoes. This you want it, but needs if you don't have any uh, shoes. Yeah. And need uh, like so. Uh, uh, so uh, badly to uh, uh, to to, to uh, like buy it because you don't have uh, any uh, shoes. This is needs. Right. Very good explanation. Very good. So needs are something that we can say it's necessary. We cannot live without it. So like electricity or water or a house or taking care of yourself. So for health purposes and wants are something that we just, we have fun with. We, it's not something that we really, really need. It's not necessary. So we can see here, for example, so a house. Is a house a need or a want? Can we live without a house? Or is it something that we need to spend our money on? What do you guys think? Something that we need to spend the money on. Yes, it's really important to have a house. You cannot live without a house. It's going to be very, very difficult. So it's a need. It's something that you save money to buy first. But what about a bicycle? Do you need a bicycle or is it something that you want for fun or you can enjoy? No, you want it for fun. Yeah, so it's not necessary to have a bicycle. But it's really, really important to have a house. What about a ball? Is it is it necessary? Is it a need or a want? No, it's a, it's a want. want. It's a want. It's a Very need. good. What about taking care of your health? It's a, no, need. It's a need. It's a need. You need to take care of your health, and then after you have a good house, you have good health, you have good food, you take care of yourself, you can think about spending money on something that you want, like a game or a bicycle. Or a ball, right? Yeah. Very good. So let's say you have 20 reals as allowance. Your parents give you 20 reals. What will you do with them? You have these I'll options. Save them for later. So will you save all of them? Or will you save like half of it and buy half of it? Or would what would you no, do exactly? I will, save, I will save all of it so then I can like get save that I need. Okay, very good. Who else wants to? What What do we guys also uh, want to do? In my opinion, mm -hmm. I will like uh, save. Um, I will save. Um, I will see like um how much I need. Maybe I I need like uh, that. I don't need the twenty reals or maybe I need for five reals. Mm -hmm. I will see as how how much I need, not all of it. And very buy good. Things. I'll take as how much I need. Okay, so you take how much you need, buy with it, and save the rest. Right? Yes. That's very smart. So let's say you, so let's say this person, let's say I want to buy some of these. So let's say I want to buy chips. I really like chips. And then I want to buy some candy because I love candy. And I want to drink something with that. So I want to buy some apple juice. So I, I took half of my 20 and spent it, 
And then I took the other half and saved it for later. So I took what I needed and saved the rest, just like Sarah, right? That's very smart thinking. So now we know what is saving, we know why it's important, and we know the difference between wants and needs. Now let's say, um, let's, let's learn about how can we save it? How can we save money? So have you guys saved money before? Have you tried to save money? Yes. Yes. Good. Do you set a goal for yourself? Do you say like, this month I want to save 20 reals or this month I want to save 10 reals? Have you yes. ever? Yes. I, uh, I uh, like don't. Uh, I uh, don't ever like a year. I uh, like choose uh, how many reals I want to save. I just when I like uh, got uh, money, mm -hmm. I just um uh, uh, or sometimes I uh, I give it uh, to my mom and when, like my mom will buy me something and save the rest. And sometimes I keep it for me and I use how much I need. Oh, that's very good. That's very smart. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Good job. So it's something that if you never practiced saving, you can say that this month I want to save this number. So I want to save 20 reals. I want to save 100 reals. Depends on how much you receive. So it's a very good practice to have a goal for yourself, to set a goal for the end of the month. Um, so, but if we set a goal, how are we going to change our habits into uh, to save money? So do you guys um, eat from outside of your home? Do you guys like restaurants? Like what is your favorite restaurant to eat from? McDonald's. McDonald's. Who else likes McDonald's? Me. You also too like McDonald's? So do you guys eat yes. every day from McDonald's? Or like oh, once no. a week? No. Twice a week. Twice a week. I okay. eat, we eat it. Uh, we eat from restaurant every uh, Thursday. Every Thursday, that's good. Every week, just once a week. That's very good. So that's healthy. So let's say I, let's imagine that I eat from McDonald's every day. Is that a good thing? Is that smart? No. 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 Why not? Why is it a bad thing to eat from McDonald's every day? Because it's not because it's healthy. Not healthy. Yeah, it's not healthy. Um, and it's not healthy, uh, and you're wasting uh, things that are not healthy. It's like there's two uh, and not uh, not good things. Uh, what is it? It's uh, spending money or uh, of things that you don't need. You have food in your room, and the second right? and the second thing, it's not good for your health. You said that first thing you have to like uh, look for your health and you be so healthy. Right. So it's not good for your health. That's very good. Yes, it's not healthy for my health. That's a bad thing. And I'm wasting my money. I'm not saving money. I'm wasting my money on McDonald's because I could spend a lot less if I cooked at home, right? So it's it's very good that you guys eat at least just uh, once a week from restaurant. So if I, if I eat every day, a smart thing would, would be is to eat only once a week and then save the rest of my money and buy uh, some of it and cook at home more often, right? So that way I'm healthier and I would save money. So, and we, we're gonna talk about where would we save money? Do you guys know about piggy banks? Yes. yes, yes, I have. You have it? Good, who yes. else has it? Do all of you have Biggie Banks? No. No? I don't have. So like, I have. You have it. So it's a good thing that either you have a Biggie Bank or you can um, save your money with your parents, like your mom, like Sarah said. So if you don't have it, you can give it to someone you trust. And then leave it, keep it with them until you need it or you want it later. So it's you can either have one ready or you can have your own. You can make your own piggy bank. So it's a very good to at least have one or have someone that you trust, like your parents, keep your money until you need them. Right? That's very good. So um, so 
always remember to practice saving money because you guys are young and whenever when you go when you grow up later you will need to pay for so many things that are really really important in your life like what are your dreams do you guys what do you guys want to be when you grow up what do you want to work as do you guys want to be a doctor do you want to be a teacher a pilot what do you guys want to be tell me i want to be a principal a principal okay that's very good who else know where i want to be you still don't know that's very that's fine you're still young you're gonna learn a lot uh, a lot more things while you grow up so you have a lot I'm of a fashion designer a fashion designer yeah that's very good so you need to go into a good school that teaches you how to do that you need to to go to a a, a good college so now your parents are saving money most likely for you in the future so you see how saving is really important because later you will need to go to a good university to save. So you need to save for that good university. So it's really, really important to practice saving from a young age because you guys are really young right now and you're going to need to learn these good habits. So when you grow up, you'll, you'll be more successful in life. Okay? So remember, save your money. Don't waste them. So uh, thank you for listening. I hope you learned something of value today. And if there's any question you want to ask me, please go ahead. Are we going to take this a different day, like again? I don't think so. Okay. You learned it. Yeah. Unless it was really funny and you want to take it again. Well, <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, of course. Is there anything uh, that's unclear? We just learned at school that uh, mm -hmm. in real life about like uh, um, uh, about like money and mm -hmm. uh, the, like saving money. It's called we were it's called like a store of value. Store of value, yes, that's another and that's another saying for it. You store your value, you keep it until you need it later. That's very good. So you see why school is important. They teach you a lot of good things that will benefit you in your life. Good. I'm glad you guys uh, had fun today. Was it fun? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> good. I'm very happy with that.